cybercrime and cyber terrorism are growing global threats. Here at UNC Charlotte, the College of Computing and Informatics offers what's considered to be one of the nation's top programs in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity program is really the first pro such a program in the state of North Carolina. It's the first program recognized by the National Security Agency as a center of academic excellence in information assurance education in uh, 2001. And it's uh, the first uh, information assurance research program center of excellence recognized by National Security Agency in the state as well. One of the most well-known research program we have is in, in network security in the form of uh, configuration management, which Professor L. Shea leads. CyberDNA is, stands for Cyber Defense and Network Assurability Center. It is a, a, a one of the national centers that focus on a very specific, unique problem in cybersecurity. To make cybersecurity enforceable, measurable, provable, and automated. Specifically in the area of security configuration, where lots of complexity is being there and needs to be uh, have automated tool to do analytic and understanding of cybersecurity. So our program is unique because it requires an integration of too many skills, including technical skills, operational skills, understanding how human behavior is uh, using security tools. We also have a, a, a very unique program on software security, which is uh, focusing on designing uh, security systems from the very beginning instead of having to patch things up. We also have a very uh, prestigious data privacy program as well as uh, efforts on social network and usable securities. And, and we have uh, uh, some leading researchers in this area. Dr. Mohammed Shihab and his research team have developed FB Secure, a plugin that makes it easier for users of Facebook to determine what permissions they want to grant or deny each time they are about to install an application. Think of it, he says, as putting the user in the driver's seat. The average user only wants to install the application. He doesn't know what is happening uh, under the hood. So uh, the user usually says, allow. The plugin will give you a list of permissions and check boxes beside each one of the permissions, and it will give you recommendations. What do we think you should do? And the recommendations is how much percentage we are confident of an allow, how much percentage we are confident of a deny. And basically, you can pick and choose. So even if you ignore our recommendation, you can pick and choose what permissions you want to grant and what permissions you want to deny. If it asks for your, e for your email, you can decide, I don't want to give it email. And you can install Angry Birds without email privileges. Thus, you will not be receiving these annoying uh, email messages. We have the CyberCorp program, which is uh, funded by the federal government since uh, 2001. We're at the beginning of that program, inception of that program. We're, we've trained over 120 uh, cyber security specialists for the federal government. A lot of them are working in cyber war areas. 49th Security is, is really a, a grassroots organization uh, organized and run by the students. They do wonderful work in uh, national, international competitions. We won the National Cyber Defense Championship and we uh, routinely place among the top tier of universities. The 49th Security Division, or our Ethical Hacking Club, was started back in 2009 by eight students who just wanted something a little bit extra after class as far as security and technology goes. Uh, we're a group of students who uh, develop and build secure applications and also at that same respect break into the kinds of labs and applications that we that other groups in the club build. Uh, we hack to find the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Uh, in the, uh, by finding the exploits first and looking at and learning how to think like the, the bad guy or the bad hackers that infiltrate systems for uh, unethical reasons, then we can find their vulnerabilities before they do and we can ensure those are closed. Uh, we learn to think like, we learn to hack like, we learn to act like the bad guys and that way we can close the holes before they get there. The hacking mentality is absolutely essential for security professionals and there's really no different from law enforcement, there's no different from uh, other security professionals, uh, physical security professionals, that if you want to secure the premise, you want to fight the crime, you have to know the psychology and, and, and the, the, the way that criminals use to uh, 
break the laws so you can prevent them. So that's something that's very much emphasized in our program. Uh, we also have a very strong ethics program in education, so we'll make sure that students understand the responsibilities they face once they get into this profession. Dr. Chu goes on to explain why the Department of Software and Information Systems is regarded as one of the top security programs in the United States. I have gone through benchmarking with other programs and I'm just absolutely impressed and proud of the depth of curriculum. We have over 10 graduate courses focusing on various aspects of information security that are offered on a regular basis. Very few universities has the depth of this kind of a program, so that's number one, is, is the size of the, our curriculum. And also the size of faculty, we, as I mentioned, we have over 10 faculty members, all with PhDs and, and very active in research, uh, doing security, uh, very, again, very few programs can match us in that uh, size, and, uh, and also the enthusiasm of the students, from all the way from undergraduates to PhD students, uh, they're just superbly talented.